Let's see a question from Laplace transform. We need to find the Laplace transform of f of t is 0 to t sin t by t dt. Now this is uh, based on the concept of Laplace transform of integrals. Now how to find uh, the Laplace transform of integral? The basic idea is start from the initial thing. So initial thing is sin t. So we can uh, find the Laplace of sin t easily. That is a which is 1 upon s square plus a square. This was easy. Now we can use the division by t property and say that Laplace of t sin t will be nothing but integral from s to infinity of whatever you got for the Laplace of sin t because uh, sorry division by t not multiplication it's for division by t we integrate from s to infinity of whatever in we got in the previous step so s square plus 1 with respect to s so Laplace of sin t divided by t will give you 1 upon 1 plus x square that will give you on integration tan inverse s from s to infinity so this is nothing but if you put infinity so tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse s tan inverse infinity is pi by 2 minus tan inverse s now we know that tan inverse x plus cot inverse x gives you pi by 2. So you can write this as cot inverse of s. So you got Laplace of sin t divided by t as cot inverse s. Now you need to find the integral from 0 to t of this thing. So there is a uh, one rule that if Laplace of f of t is uh, given by f bar s then Laplace of 0 to t f of t dt will be nothing but if you are doing integration once from 0 to t just divide by 1s of whatever you got in the previous step. Just division by 1s. If you are doing the same integration twice, then you will divide by s square. If you are doing the integration three times, then you will divide by s cube and so on. So here we can uh, use this rule and say that Laplace of 0 to t sin t divided by t dt will be nothing but because we are doing integration once so 1 by s and what you got for the Laplace of sin t by t it was cot inverse s. So this is your answer. So Laplace of this is 1 by s cot inverse s. You already know that Laplace of sin at is a upon s square plus a square then we use the division by t property which says integrate it from s to infinity of whatever you got for the Laplace of sin t. I did that. I got cot inverse s from there. Now I use the rule that we know that Laplace of f of t is this. Then Laplace of integral from 0 to t of the same thing. Integral only once will give just divide that by s. So I use that and got my final answer as 1 by s cot inverse s.